Okay, Kipsters, this video, as you can see, is about adding and subtracting decimals. I'm showing the same screen every time. I'm going to say the same thing every time. You need to have this information memorized. Uh, for adding and subtracting decimals, it's very important that you know the place names of every single decimal. Uh, because one of the most important things about adding and subtracting decimals is making so sure that they speak the same language is correct. So let's see what this looks like. Here are two decimals, 2.7 and 0 0.21. We're going to add them up. Right now, this decimal here speaks two languages, ones and tenths. This decimal here speaks how many languages? Call it out. Three is right. The zero speaks what language? Ones is correct. The two speaks what language? Tenths is correct. The one speaks what language? Hundredths. Okay, so you see that these two decimals don't all speak the same languages. In fact, there's one language that this decimal speaks that this one does not. What language is that? You're right, it's the hundredths. So what we need to do, and this is the most important part, we want both of these decimals to all speak the same languages. We have to do something to this decimal so that it speaks hundredths without changing the value of the 2 or the 7. And that's what you do. Simply add a 0, and now you've made this de decimal speak hundredths as well. Now that each of those decimals speaks all the same languages, you just rewrite them and add them up. It's that simple. Look down here, 0 plus 1, 7 plus 2, drop it like it's 2 plus 0, and you're done. Okay, let's try another. Ah, interesting. I see a whole number here, minus 0 0.7. What language does this 6 speak? Call it out. 1 is right. How about this 0? That's correct. How about the 7? Call it out, please. Tenths. Awesome. So, what language does this speak that this one, this decimal does not? Go ahead, call it out. You're right, it's the tenths. So what do you think we're going to have to do to make this speak tenths? It's a little bit tricky, but you cannot change the value of that 6. It still needs to be 1s. Did you say that? If you did, good job. You haven't changed the value of the 6, but you made it speak tenths by adding a decimal point and a zero to it. Now, pretty easy to subtract. Don't you dare put 7 down here. I'll come and slap you in the face. You know that. I have zero ones. They want 7. I don't have enough. I have to go next door and borrow. Scratch and make it smaller. Pull one on my side. 10 minus 7 gives me 3. Drop it like it's 5 minus 0, and we're done. Next up, guided practice. So here's the deal. That's a big old decimal and a teeny weeny little whole number there. Okay? So, your job now, pause the tape, solve this problem on your own. So go ahead and pause it right now. Okay, if you're back, you should have answered this question and we'll see how close you came. First important thing, I want to know what languages are spoken. The 1 speaks 10s, the 6 speaks 1s, the 0 speaks 10s. What about that 7? Go ahead and call it out. 100ths is right. What about that 1? That's 1000ths. So interesting, because this decimal speaks 5 language languages. This whole number over here only speaks 1, and that's 1s. So now we have a lot of changing to do. Right now, we need to speak we need to get this 2 to speak 10s. So we're going to add that. It speaks 10s. I did not change the value of the 2. We also need to speak 10 -thers. So we're going to add it like that. I need to speak 100 -thers as well. I'm going to add another 0. 1,000 -thers. I'm going to add another 0. This might look strange, but it's perfectly mathematically correct because you did not change the value of the 2. The two is always spoken once. Now that you've done that, you can add them together just like that. One, seven, zero, eight, one. Eighteen and seventy-one thousandths. 
is the correct answer. If you got that right, good job. If not, just take a step back because the one mistake people make is, is putting that to and making it speak another language. You can't just automatically make me speak Spanish. I'm an, I, I speak English and English only. So you can't go ahead and change someone's language. That speaks ones, keep it speaking ones. Okay? If you're ready to go on your own, here are your five problems to do. So this tapes of this video is about to end, so make sure that you write down each and every one of these problems. You should probably pause the tape now. Thanks as always for listening.